What's good guys, it's your girl Nikki Boo and I will be doing a tutorial today on wig making. So I will be showing you step by step how to prep your dome cap for your wig making. So stay tuned. So this is our mannequin head that we'll be using this is a size 22 which is um, you know for regular head size the smallest head size is size 21 so if you have a smaller head size which is 21 and you want to use that you should get 21 the bigger size they go like maybe from 23 up for bigger heads but the regular that fit most people is size 22 which is this one so first I'm, I will show you all the stuff that we will need to work like to do this so first you will need your T-pins your T-pins they look like this right your T-pins you will need a metallic sharpie marker you will need your original dome cap which is breathable all right so for your wig making the closure unit you will need your four times four swiss lace which is like this all right so and you will also need your scissors all right let's get straight into it so first you can see this line right here that's where the front part of the cap will be on the dome on the mannequin head so if your cap is looking like this wait uh, the two lines should be at the front part so you go ahead and place it there hold it pull it down on the mannequin head make sure it is nice and smooth like so when I come here the lighting is better I soon receive my my ring light guys so my videos will be more details okay so bear with me all right so when you do like this you now get your T pins and you hold it down all right so back to that because my stuff um, all right so you get your t-pins you hold it in place um, for the back for the nape of the head you want to pull it like this and hold it with your t-pin all right when you pull it like this not too much kind of get it straight all right there Alright, now straightening out your cap on your dome head, you want to go ahead and get your closure because I'm showing you the closure unit of how to prep it before you do your wig making. So you get your closure unit and you place it, let me see if I can set like this. Alright, you get this one and you put it where you see the two lines, make sure it's in line. And also in line with these two lines of the cap if of the dome head all right so you come all the way like this and you secure it with your pins secure it down with your pins make sure it stays in place so once you secure your closure unit is supposed to look like this on your cap well secure down and then you go ahead and you know put it up in a small little bun or you can you know twist it see it is well up like this and you can go ahead and you know twist it just to get it out of the way before you start to you know do your lines your protective lines for your wig for your waist that you will be sewing down all right 
you can also use a rubber band or whatever it is to hold the hair in place all right so now for the fun part all right so you will need your inch measuring tape for this part you can also use like one finger or two fingers depending on how you know you double your weft or you doing it single all right so all my wigs are made on machine stitch right so you don't want it too tight not too too close so how to get your measurement you could just you know use a pin and pull this down like like so right and to the back as well all right and then you start your line using your sharpie using your sharpie metallic marker right so for this part i don't know if you can see but it's right here oh you seen that part let me highlight this part it's right there it's not on the stitch that you see going like this on the cap because it will be too tight then my second line will be right here that's like an inch there then the other will be another inch going across it doesn't have to be perfect guys as long as it's like an inch apart if you double your wefts like they're extremely thick you can do like two fingers apart like this so I would be you know like that all right show you Then same another inch apart and you continue your lines it doesn't have to be perfect you just need a guide so that when you are on your sewing machine it is much easier and faster for you okay look at this side you want to like that so when you reach to the top like this you just go across you go across you go across and then you come from this side and you come like this So when you reach to the top like this, you're just going to continue and come like so. So like here to here, you know, the last weft will be sewed down very, very close to the closure, right? For the closure line now, you just make sure you get a line secure all the way down so when you remove your closure and then you know it starts sewing on the machine after you finish your wig you go ahead and place this back in between the line that you formed for the closure which is here and you go ahead and hand sew that part down right so that's it this is how it should look And then you fill the back these lines in when you remove your measuring tape. 
all right so once you finish your measuring your estimate that you'll be sewing each tracks on each tracks going up so it will be so after you finish doing this once you do your wig on the sewing machine you will have piece of dome cap the black piece like this will be here so what you need to do you need to get your scissors and you cut along this line where your swiss lace is so it will be looking like this once you finish um stitching your wig sewing machine you can hand sew if you prefer but i prefer the the sewing machine to customize all my wig units because to me it's more long lasting and it holds better and it's more neat yes close to factory made so we are at our end of our video guys this is how your dome cap should look for your wig making thank you for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos i'm out Thank you.